Okay, this will be a little bit of a teaser video, I guess. Um, so I've seen a couple different methods online of how to uh, run the cable through there. So everyone's familiar with the Zenith supplied option. And so as you can see, I started drilling the holes for that and just wasn't a fan of what it looked like. And I've seen some better stuff online um, so I started scratching my head, saw a guy about a year ago or so post uh, a uh, 3D model for a small little fair lead that went through there. And so that got me scratching my head, I printed it out, held it up there, I wasn't a fan of uh, how it looked and it didn't, uh, it didn't work because I had already, I guess, swaged my cables, I didn't feel like cutting the cables and starting over. Um, would have had to have fed it through. So I started working on, I guess, what would be a retrofit option and sat down and uh, downloaded my free copy of SolidWorks from EAA. And I've got a 3D printer. So came up with this. This would be iteration one. My 3D printer kind of goofed up halfway through, so that's the other half of the challenge. But you can uh, slide it on, spin it, and it slides on. And then I realized, wait, that's for the other side. That's not the side I'm working on. So printed another copy. And that one fits a little nicer. Challenge was getting my holes to line up and I still ran into some issues with the printer. Didn't want to get uh, that little lip in there. Kind of screwed up when it started. I printed it, let's see. It's in this orientation. You can see I got some warpage too. So I tried again. This one's pretty much the same as the last one. Started to fit in there pretty nice. And that bit looks a little better, but it's still kind of goofed up. So I changed up some of the settings on the printer and rotated how I was printing it. And came up with my next iteration. This is where I'm at thus far. Yeah, let's see if I can get it in there. So I got the back hole trimmed big enough. It, Everything kind of nicely aligned. I got to work on it just a little bit. I'm going to make this front piece cover cut just a little too much there. So this front flat part will just extend a little bit and there'll be a groove in the back there. But none of my holes really line up. So I got the blue dots where the new holes are. Um, just because with the holes already in there, it's going to be real hard to drill it from the backside. So. Measure the location where the holes need to be and I am printing, I think what is now my fifth attempt at this. Um, and hopefully it's the final and then I'll just be able to mirror the solid model to the other side. Um, and that's side I don't have any holes in over there. So actually I'll just take all the holes out. And it should be good. Um, actually I think it looks, looks pretty nice. I'll probably get, uh, I'll order, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing for paint yet, but I'll probably order a material that matches the paint. Um, and then I'll sand this smooth and make it look all nice. Um, won't go too overboard, but that's what I got for now. And uh, stay tuned and hopefully in a week or two, I will have uh, another video with the somewhat finished product, at least something to rivet in there and get it, get it airworthy with how easily removable that is. Even once I put the rivets in, I only drill out a couple rivets and it slides in and out. So I can probably just print new ones for um, my yearly inspections, just, or at least pull it off in the first one to see how much that wears. It's a PLA plastic, actually, no, sorry. This is ABS plastic. Um, I got another printer at work that does PLA or handful of different options, or I can send it off to a, someone online if I need something that holds up a little better. But 
Thought it was pretty slick. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, once I get something that looks nice, I might, might be able to share the, the model file. Let me know.